Secret. Why is the Dongfun 5 far beyond imagination? Why is missile data so critical? I'm an ordinary person fascinated by military technology, and like many military enthusiasts, I constantly monitor global military developments. Recently, CCTV, China Central Television, unusually disclosed parameters for the Dongfeng 5, DF-5, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM, and this news immediately exploded in military circles. You see, the specific data for such a national treasure has always been highly classified. What deep meaning is hidden behind this public disclosure? Today, let's have a good chat about it. The DF-5 ICBM is indeed a trump card in China's military might. It's 32.6 meters long, with a diameter of 3.35 meters, a liftoff weight of 183 tons, uses a two-stage liquid-fueled rocket engine, has a maximum range of 12,000 kilometers, an accuracy of 500 meters, and can carry a nuclear warhead with a yield of 3 to 4 megatons of TNT equivalent. Every one of these numbers reveals the immense deterrent power of this missile. Some might ask, it's just some data, what's so great about it? Don't rush. Below, I'll provide a detailed analysis of the astonishing secrets hidden behind these figures and their impact on the global military landscape. The birth of the DF-5, a national guardian in a special era. The 1960s was a period of rapidly changing global dynamics. The two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, engaged in a furious military race, especially in the field of ICBMs, constantly introducing new designs in an attempt to gain absolute superiority in strategic deterrence. The international environment at the time was extremely unfavorable for China, with immense threats to its surrounding security. Against this backdrop, developing China's own ICBM became an urgent task. The development of the DF-5 thus began, with countless scientists working anonymously, dedicating themselves to this great and arduous undertaking. Under difficult conditions, they overcame one technical challenge after another. From engine development to the overall design of the missile, Every aspect was a testament to the dedication of the researchers. Finally, in 1971, the DF-5 conducted its first flight test. Although this test was not flawless, it marked a solid step forward for China towards possessing an ICBM. Subsequently, after years of improvements and refinements, the DF-5 gradually became a mature and reliable intercontinental strategic missile. The birth of the DF-5 held extraordinary significance. It gave China greater confidence in the face of external threats and broke the US-Soviet monopoly in the ICBM field. From a military strategic perspective, it was a crucial component of China's strategic nuclear forces, providing a solid guarantee for safeguarding national sovereignty and territorial integrity. In that turbulent era, the DF-5 was like a sword hanging overhead, forcing any force attempting to infringe upon China to think twice. Looking back at history, China can see that a country's military power development is often closely linked to the international environment. The U.S.-Soviet arms race prompted China to accelerate its ICBM research and development, and the emergence of the DF-5, to some extent, altered the regional military balance at the time. In today's world, although peace and development are the mainstream, local conflicts and potential threats still exist. Competition in military technology among nations has never ceased, and China must continuously enhance its strength to remain invincible in a complex international environment. Global ICBM Powerhouses, a head-to-head -head comparison. Having discussed the DF-5, let's now look at the ICBM situation in other countries around the world. As a military powerhouse, the United States ICBM technology has always been world-leading. The U.S.'s active Minuteman III ICBM is a vital pillar of its land-based strategic nuclear forces. The Minuteman 3 is 18.26 meters long, with a diameter of 1.67 meters, a combat weight of 34.5 tons, uses a three-stage solid-fuel rocket engine, has a maximum range of up to 13,000 kilometers, a maximum flight speed of Mach 23, can carry three W78 or W87 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV, nuclear warheads, and has an accuracy of less than 100 meters. These figures demonstrate the Minuteman 3's excellent performance in range, accuracy, and penetration capabilities. Russia, as another major military power, also possesses formidable ICBM capabilities. The Sarmat Heavy ICBM is Russia's trump card weapon. It is 36.3 meters long, 
with a diameter of 3 meters, a maximum launch weight exceeding 200 tons, a maximum throw weight of approximately 10 tons, a maximum range of up to 18,000 kilometers, and can carry up to 10 heavy nuclear warheads or 15 light nuclear warheads. The Sarmat's immense power and ultra-long range make it one of the most deterrent ICBMs globally. Russia also possesses several other excellent ICBMs, such as the Topol M and Yars, forming a powerful strategic nuclear deterrent system. Compared to the US and Russia, China's DF-5 has its own unique characteristics in certain aspects. In terms of range, the DF-5's maximum range of 12,000 km, while not as long as the Sarmat's 18,000 km, is sufficient to cover most parts of the world. In terms of payload, the DF-5 can carry a nuclear warhead with a yield of 3 to 4 megatons of TNT equivalent, making it immensely powerful. Moreover, with continuous technological advancements, the DF-5 is constantly being improved and upgraded, and its performance is continually increasing. Through comparison, it can be seen that ICBMs from different countries have different focuses in their design philosophy and performance characteristics. The US Minuteman 3 emphasizes accuracy and penetration capabilities, while Russia's Sarmat highlights power and range. China's DF-5, while ensuring a certain range and power, is also continuously improving its accuracy and reliability. This reflects that countries have taken different paths in ICBM development based on their strategic needs and technological levels. In today's increasingly fierce global military competition, all countries are striving to enhance their ICBM technology to strengthen their strategic deterrent capabilities and safeguard their national security interests. The strategic gain behind ICBMs. An ICBM is not just a weapon, it's also a crucial tool in the strategic game between nations. On the international political stage, possessing powerful ICBM capabilities means having more leverage at the negotiating table. Take the Cold War as an example, the nuclear arms race between the US and the Soviet Union reached a fever pitch. Both sides possessed large numbers of ICBMs, creating a balance of terror. While this balance was fraught with danger, it also, to some extent, prevented the outbreak of large-scale warfare. In today's world, where regional conflicts and local wars occur frequently, the strategic deterrent role of ICBMs is becoming increasingly prominent. Some countries demonstrate their ICBM capabilities to signal their stance to potential adversaries, warning them not to act rashly. For instance, North Korea has faced immense pressure from the international community during its development of ICBMs, but North Korea believes that possessing ICBMs is a necessary means to safeguard national sovereignty and security. North Korea's ICBM tests have drawn significant attention from neighboring countries and the international community, becoming a crucial factor in regional tensions. For China, the existence of ICBMs like the DF-5 is a strong backing for safeguarding national sovereignty, security, and development interests. China has always adhered to a defensive national defense policy, and the development of ICBMs is not to proactively provoke war but to ensure that in the face of external threats, it has sufficient capability for self-defense and counterattack. In international affairs, China consistently advocates for peaceful resolution of disputes but will never allow any country to infringe upon China's core interests. The powerful deterrent of the DF-5 has earned China respect on the international stage and played an important role in maintaining regional and global peace and stability. From the perspective of strategic competition, the development and deployment of ICBMs often trigger a series of chain reactions. One country increasing its ICBM numbers or enhancing their performance may lead surrounding countries to take corresponding measures, thereby sparking a new round of arms race. This vicious cycle is detrimental to regional and global peace and stability. Therefore, the international community should strengthen dialogue and cooperation, and by establishing confidence-building mechanisms, jointly promote global arms control and disarmament processes to achieve true peace and security. Technological Breakthroughs – The Growth Code of the DF-5 The DF-5's ability to become China's national treasure is inseparable from a series of technological breakthroughs behind it. In terms of engine technology, the two-stage liquid-fueled rocket engine used in the DF-5, after years of research and improvement, possesses powerful thrust and high reliability. While liquid-fueled engines are relatively complex in maintenance and operation, they can provide greater thrust, enabling missiles to carry heavier payloads and achieve longer ranges. Researchers have conducted in-depth studies on engine combustion efficiency, propellant formulations, and other aspects, continuously optimizing engine performance.
In terms of guidance technology, the DF5's accuracy of 500 meters is attributed to the application of advanced inertial guidance systems and satellite navigation technology. Inertial guidance systems calculate the missile's flight trajectory by measuring its own acceleration and angular velocity, characterized by strong autonomy and good anti-jamming capability. With the continuous improvement of China's Beidou satellite navigation system, the DF-5 can also leverage the Beidou system for more precise positioning and navigation, further enhancing its accuracy. Furthermore, in materials science and structural design, the DF-5 has also achieved many technological breakthroughs. To reduce the missile's weight while enhancing its strength and high temperature resistance, researchers developed a series of new materials and applied them to the missile's casing, warhead, and other parts. In structural design, by optimizing the missile's external shape and internal layout, the missile's flight stability and reliability were improved. These technological breakthroughs have not only endowed the DF-5 with formidable combat capabilities but also accumulated valuable experience for China's subsequent missile development. Every technological advancement is inseparable from the diligent efforts and innovative spirit of the researchers. In the future, with the continuous development of science and technology, China has reason to believe that its missile technology will achieve greater breakthroughs, providing stronger guarantees for national security and development. At the same time, China should also recognize that technological development should be used for peaceful purposes, promoting global scientific progress and benefiting all humankind. Future Outlook – Wither Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles? Looking ahead, ICBM technology will continue to evolve. On one hand, with continuous advancements in technology, the performance of ICBMs will be further enhanced. In terms of range, there may be ICBMs with even longer ranges and broader coverage. In terms of accuracy, through the adoption of more advanced guidance technologies, accuracy is expected to further improve. In terms of penetration capabilities, the development of new penetration aids, such as hypersonic glide vehicles and MIRV technology, will make ICBMs harder to intercept. On the other hand, as global calls for peace and security grow louder, international attention on arms control and disarmament is also continuously increasing. In the future, countries may engage in more dialogue and cooperation in the ICBM field, limiting the scale of ICBM development and deployment through arms control agreements and other means, thereby reducing the risk of nuclear war. For China, while adhering to its defensive national defense policy, it will reasonably develop ICBM technology based on its national security needs and technological development level. China hopes to contribute more to maintaining regional and global peace and stability through its own efforts. At the same time, China also calls on all countries to work together, abandon Cold War thinking, resolve international disputes through peaceful and cooperative means, and jointly build a safe, stable, and prosperous world. That concludes today's discussion on the Dongfang 5 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. If you are interested in military technology, feel free to follow my account to explore more fascinating military topics together.